Caleb Ellison, Beaver Creek, Ohio, 653 in the left. Dustin Mack at Moore, Alabama, 589 on the right side. Left side, Caleb Ellison, 14, dead 7, 21 total, taking 50. Dustin Max, 20, set him, wow, let him go big time. Caleb Ellison, left side, Beaver Creek, Ohio, the Ellison Auto Detailing, Greg Hines Racing Camaro, 653 the dial, and Brian Norman, Severn, Maryland, the software engineer by Trade Auto Fab Race Cars, 1986 Ford Mustang, dialed in 566. All run stickers. Round number one, Hoosier Racing Tire. Round number one, all cars have been called. Ellison is 35, and his wind light comes on. Norman, 24th out red. Ellison, 35, one above, turns on his scoreboard. So in the left-hand lane, we've got Mr. Caleb Ellison. In the right-hand lane, we've got none other than Kevin Pollard. Folks, you want to watch this one right here. These two boys right here has won as many races as chicken pox has took out anybody. Got one out red. Oh, that's going to be a good race right there. We got one out red, two red. Poller out 21. He's going to push the floorboard out of that thing, put her in the sand. 42 with a two off that 42. 53 with a six in that left-hand lane. That was going to be a dog fight. Sold, sold, sold. So Hot Rod is out. Go see Miss Stacy over there. Help us out with the calls. 50-50 tickets. Going to send somebody home with a little bit of money. And uh, my boy Hodge up here, I've got the Canadian thumbs up for him. Fincham's out. I am exhausted after that. <laughs> Caleb Ellison rolls back around. Started the round off with a double O red light. Beaver Creek, Ohio, the Ellison Auto detailing. Greg Hines Camaro, 654 the aisle. Johnny Cook, the sales manager out of Howell, Michigan. Johnny Cook, two thou red. One above two. Ellison missed it. A good time to do so. Hey. Caleb Ellison left side, dialed 653. Is supposed to be taking on Scott Vaughn. Looks like we're going to get another shot at the burnout over here. Scott broke the motor in his car and has swapped to this hot rod. Vaughn turns it 11 thou red. Caleb Ellison double 09. Dead two. 11 total for Caleb Ellison. Caleb Ellison left side, dialed 653, taking on Mike Rosa. Rosa dialed 645. Rosa turns it 26 thou red, gives the win to Ellison, who's 14, and clicks it off early. Caleb Ellison, Beaver Creek, Ohio, 654 on the left side. Phil Billy, Phil Combs, DeMossville, Kentucky, 577 on the right side. Both of them had some pretty good hot rods. Both of them are good drivers. This ought to be a race. Oh, my. 
Phil Billy's got some work to do. Caleb Ellison, trip, zip, perfect. Go 658 on the 654, Phil Billy. 28 and goes three above. Caleb Ellison, right side. Greg Hines Camaro, Beaver Creek, Ohio native. He's gonna put it on a 650. Caleb Ellison, right hand side. Gonna make his by run into the round of seven. Ellison is in. 41 up front for Ellison. Runs it on out to be four over. 41 and four above for Caleb Ellison on the by run. Bad Brad Plourd, 659 left side. Caleb Ellison, 654 in the right side. Oh man, Plourd misses it. Ellison trying to take advantage, win light, Ellison. 30, one above one, 41 total, had Plourd locked out. Plourd goes dead one to be 13 foul behind. Ellison returns for the semifinals. Sexton goes to the final. Who will he face? Will it be Brian Norman, right hand side, out of Severn, Maryland in the 86 Mustang? Down in 564. Caleb Ellison, left-hand side out of Beaver Creek, Ohio in the Camaro. Ellison dialed 654. Nine-tenths head start to Ellison. They're in and set. 11,000 separate them. Win light to the final goes Caleb Ellison. 33 take nine to be one thou under. Brian Norman is 44 front, get behind 009 to be 3,000 under. Two thousandths more breakout for Brian Norman, sending Caleb Ellison to the final round to face Nathan Sexton for $100,000. 100K final round. Getting ready to come at you, two young men. About to square off for the biggest purse in foot break racing history. I'm nervous and I'm in the tower. Left side, Caleb Ellison out of Beaver Creek, Ohio. Driving the Greg Hines Camaro. He is dialed 653. He'll take on Nathan Sexton. Sexton out of Radford, Virginia. Driving the Mustang, dialed 852. Both these young men are both incredibly talented. They've picked up numerous big checks, but one of them is about to win the highest paying foot brake race of all time. $100,000 on the line. As we are bumping in, Caleb's in. Here comes Nathan, tree comes down. Six, foul, separate them up front. Wind, light, goes to Caleb Ellison. 22, two above four, gets their first four foul. Nathan Sexton, 28 and two over, no good. Congrats to Nathan Sexton on a runner up. But Caleb Ellison is your $100,000 winner, and he is coming right back up the racetrack. Everybody scatter. All right, here we are. The inaugural 
<laughs> no, stay right there, brother. Let's there, I'll sit with you. The inaugural BT Labor Day 100K Winter Circle with the man that just made foot break history by winning the largest paying foot break race that's ever been held. You were deemed the next big thing on the podcast. That was a bust. <laughs> I would say that that's fairly accurate. Caleb Ellison, you just made foot break history. I know that couldn't possibly have sank in yet, but can you describe at all how you feel right now? Um, I'll hold it. I don't even understand. Um, no, it, it, it's crazy. Um, I got to thank Bailey, my parents, um, Greg Hines, the car owner, Adam Davis, Edmund for working on it. Um, it's, it's been going really good all weekend, and I'm a big believer in God, and I don't show it a lot, but, like, I was at ease all day. Like, I felt like I couldn't lose. I just came up here. I told myself, like, if, if God has it and the plan for me to win today, it's going to happen, and it happened. And uh, no hand controllers. That was all with my feet. No choke cables. No choke cables. Okay. Well done. Well done. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's why God gave you those feet, isn't it? Uh, I mean, you, you talk about being at ease all day, and, you know, it's been a, quite a long day. There's been a couple of things happen, interrupted us. Was there any point that you thought about the money or the the historical factor of this or you just come up here doing your thing the whole time um i was just doing my thing i mean second round i was tooth out red to pollard and i was i came back and i was 42 and i was like oh the wheels are falling off right now like i thought it was all going to to crap and but then i just kept coming back and and it was i mean i, I made a few bad runs and they went my way like in the semis but i never really thought about the money adam was going to be the man doing the money for me because I don't, I've not dealt with it a whole lot and I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. And uh, when it got to the split round, when I had the bat 13 at seven cards, I was like, well, if I lose, it's good money. I don't want to lose, but if I lose, it's good money. And so, I mean, if I, if I lost, it was good money, but 50 grand in the final sounded really good. So. I guess uh, you just kind of let everybody know how that went out there. But, uh, that was extremely good. And it the most that anyone's ever collected for a foot break win, which is big. The money's great. I do things with the money that we might not have gotten to done otherwise, but you'll go down in history as the first person to ever do this. Quite honestly, I don't know when someone will get to do it again. You know, Steve and I will evaluate this and see how it goes, and hopefully we can do more of these. But if we don't, whatever happens, happens. But you'll be the first ever. There's only going to be one first ever, and it's Caleb Ellison. That goes down in history. I mean, can you even understand exactly what that means to you right now? Um, no. Thank you and Steve for doing this, for one. But I can't think of what it means. I mean, I, want, I came here thinking I could win it, wanting to win it, but I've had a real rough year. I've drove really well. Wrong place, wrong time. At WFC I, in July, I drove really well and got my butt kicked all weekend. But And today I just... I thought maybe it's going to happen. So I've not thought about what it means. I mean, this is pretty cool. I mean, but it, it'll sink in maybe throughout the week, I hope. Well, I'm sure there's some people that help you. You, you obviously you had Hoosier tires stuck to the racetrack, and I'm, I'm sure there's some other people that you'd like to give some thanks to along the line. You thank some crew and those people, but is there anybody else on your list, Caleb, that you can think of? Because I know your mind's probably running pretty fast right now. Um, FTI, Converter Transmissions, um, RBZ, Blake and all the guys making the wheels and, and all the other things. Um, Wheatcraft, Concrete, um, let me think, Greg Hines, yeah, hopefully we can do it again. Um, my buddy Charlie, Bailey, I, what, you I already, I already think, yeah, you said I already thank these people. So, hang on. I, I got to thank all my friends. All my friends. <laughs> um, there's more people, but like you said, I can't think of nothing right now. Uh, I, I don't know. Everybody knows that they help me, and I appreciate all their help. I've been able to do what I've done for the last few years, driving people's stuff. I went to Piedmont and drove Ernie's stuff and, and sucked all weekend and cost him money, and I feel bad, but I enjoy everybody that gives me opportunities and whether, I mean, I try to make the most of them, but it's so hard out here nowadays. I mean, 
So everybody knows who they are that helped me out. <laughs> I can't think of you guys. Well, I know a lot of people help you. A lot of people are proud of you. You're, uh, you're certainly stars in this game, and you just showed that you're on the top of the mountain right now, no pun intended. I've done a lot of these winter circles for foot brake races, never seen a crowd like this. These people are super proud of you. We all love you, man. Congratulations on a history-making day, an amazing day at the racetrack. Caleb Ellison, you are the BTE Labor Day $100,000 champion, man. Enjoy. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Caleb Ellison, everybody, your $100,000 champion. Yeah.